Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and we find ourselves once again outside my lovely medieval tavern in by Ajax. Yet yeah, we've come back to Tavern Master after ooh, probably a good few months actually, so long since I've kind of forgotten. Why are we doing this? Because we have, as of just a few days ago now, at the beginning of March 2023, a significant new update to the game. Yes, indeed, we have. We have the Winter Tavern. We now have a new map on which to build our tavern. We also have access to basements. We can, as we've done before, build our tavern up. Ooh, that's that four floors of excellent drink and food serving. Uh, we can also now go downstairs. We can even have an outside garden. Now, I can't on this map because if we go into build mode... I haven't got anywhere to build. Yeah, I have exhausted the area of the map. So, yeah, we're going to have to sort of take some stuff out and if we wanted to build a garden. But we're not going to do that on this map. Uh, the other thing that has been changed... Well, there has been a few things changed, bug fixes and so on, within the game. The other significant thing that's changed is the customer limit. Um, I hadn't come across it before and I'd quite forgotten it was there. Probably because I hadn't read the release notes. Um, but the latest update removes the limit of 750 customers. So if you have got a very, very tightly packed tavern, you can process over 750 customers now, if you so wished. But we're not going to do that. Now, what we're looking at today for this particular video is a look at the new features of this update in particular. And that is the, first off, the winter map. Now, this is one thing that I have a gripe with, I'm afraid. I'm slightly frustrated by this. It annoys me a little bit. I can sort of see why the dev has done it, but I would rather they hadn't. You only get the winter map if you research it. So you've got to go through all this research tree. That's quite a lot of research to unlock the winter tavern. And if we click our little I for info symbol here, it tells us what it does. It's a brand new map with new rules. So we'll have a winter map. Uh, which obviously will require a new bar because we're not serving just cold drinks, not in a winter environment. That'd be that'd be silly. Though of course I hope they do serve beer because beer is a drink for every weather. Take it from me if you're not familiar with it. Beer is good whatever the weather. Um, yeah. So this new bar will serve hot drinks. So a new drink selection. We will also need to supply heat to our tavern, which is a mechanic we don't have in the standard game tavern. But we will need to start a new game. So it's a completely new environment we start in. Again, I wish that had been put just as an option for the new game. Rather than having to research it first. I suppose the thing is you have to learn the basic techniques of the game. But I'd rather it wasn't quite so far up. Because it takes an absolute age to grind through all the research to get to this level. Which is slightly frustrating. Likewise with games, which I'm just about to unlock. If you watch my previous series of the game, you may recall me saying that I'll carry on playing this for a while and then come back once I've unlocked games. Still haven't done it, no. And uh, that's what we're doing today. The trouble is, with these sort of high-end researches, you need a large number of customers, but in particular, a large number of the gold and royal customers. And they don't come in very often. Now, if we look at our current tavern, uh, we've got a few gold customers. We've got quite a few red customers. Um, that's the hotel segment. We've got a number of royals. Yeah, we've got them here. A few, a few golds and a few more here. In fact, if we go here. Uh, okay, they haven't left yet, which is why they've not been served. It's only 4 p.m. Gosh, they stay around drinking for a long time, don't they? But we'll see that count go up. So they will come uh, through through normal day-to-day -day trading as a result of your menu, as we've seen before, uh, getting better and better. But it's only a 2% chance of a royal person turning up on any particular day, which isn't a great... It just doesn't add up to a big number, to be honest. And if you're running parties or calendar events, which is what you normally do to get the sort of the high high spending VIPs in... You don't get that many. I mean, for a king and queen feast, we get one, we get two royal people. It's going to take a long, a lot of parties 
to get 40 odd, 50 odd royal people through. So again, it's a, it's a bit of a gripe I have with the game that, that some of this research does seem to take a long time to grind through. I mean, it's fun watching it, to be honest, but I'd rather it was a little bit, um, didn't require so much effort. Or am I just being lazy? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, the day is coming to a close. And as you can see, I have redecorated quite substantially using a lot of the, it's not research, it's the quests here. We have got a lot of new floor tiles and walls, decor and so on, uh, through all the various, achieving the, these particular quests. So I, I've been doing some random decorating. I'm not going to say it's, it's attractive, because it, it isn't really. <laughs> so, how have we done today? Seven royal people. Okay, let's wait for them all to file out. And we'll see the final tally for the day. Oh, have we achieved a quest? We have! We have earned ourselves an elite chef. Awesome. I'm not sure we can put him anywhere, though. Um, his name was Frederick, wasn't it? I've got... Uh, I've got just two kitchens. Uh, so, where, where, where is he? If I go to staff... Uh, he'll be on floor... They call it floor three. Frederick. No, you're not going to serve... Uh, floor one or... Two. Uh, so floor two, that's fine. Yep, you're an elite chef. You do everything very, very well. As opposed to Landolf. Landolf is good at desserts. So he won't do main courses. Not at all. No. Now what about Kieran? Uh, you're not so good with soups. So we'll take you off soups. And you down there for main courses and Frederick our main man can do everything um, well, apart apart from soups will minimize your your soup creation there you go so oh we had ten royal people that's okay okay we're getting there and uh, we made a profit of five grand awesome any angry customers no basically I've got enough staff I've got staff everywhere and of course the uh, the musicians, I have four every day now on all my serving floors, so that gets dealt with quite quickly. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to carry on playing off camera to get the games, and then I'll come back to you after a sexy video effect, and we will look at games and open up a new winter tavern. Uh, I don't know about basements, we'll see how that turns out. So I'll carry on playing and I'll come back to you in but a fraction of, well, it won't be a fraction, it'll be a couple of seconds time on the other side of a sexy video effect and we'll get into the games and the Winter Tavern. I'll see you right over there. Oh, we're getting very close now. We are getting very close indeed. Our research for games is, we've got all the, all the gold and the purple people. We just need more research to be done. Uh, what I've done to expedite that is I've actually... Uh, cut one of the bedrooms out to add in, in an, to add in another couple of researcher desks though I did actually make that uh, that bedroom there were two bedrooms there but I've sort of run them together so I'm not losing much revenue by having it being a bedroom short and what else have I done oh not a great deal but I did discover one thing that the outside garden is also something else you need to uh, research but that comes quite early in the research tree, as you can see there. So just 400 red people. So that should be quite easy to achieve, to be honest, at that stage in the game. So we're just going to run this on a little bit further. And we should very soon complete the research for games. And then we'll see what we can do from there. And that little noise indicates we have completed our research into games. Let's pause the game there. Uh, where was it? Uh, there it is. So we will look at that in a moment, but what research shall we start? We won't do the basement just yet. Let's get the outside garden sorted, shall we? So we'll start research on that. That is cool. So, what can we do? What games do we have access to? We have a games counter and we have a punching bag. Now what I'm going to do, I think, for these 
we could put them downstairs, which would make kind of sense, perhaps. But I'm thinking uh, that's downstairs. Yes, that's downstairs. We could put them down here. But I'm not going to do that. No, we'll put them up here. We're going to remove one of our other uh, hotel bedrooms, I think. So let's have a look at the bedrooms. Which ones earn us least? Uh, you 130, 140, two. Yeah, well, we'll take, we'll turn this one into a games room. That's actually what I could do. Is if we get rid of one of these bedrooms, sorry, one of these beds, and move that there. So, uh, so we will put all the four star kit into this room ready. So what's that need to be four stars? Um, four stars, two windows, and all the wardrobes and all the beds. Good, so you're now four star room, so you're earning loads of money. Okay, we now have an empty room that I can put some games in. Excellent. So we can put in a punch bag, which probably needs to go around that way so they can punch it. And a games counter. Ooh, I wonder if that. Oh, it does have a. It does come with its own member of staff. That's. Oh, you're quite large, aren't you? Yeah. And quite expensive. Oh, what are you? Oh, an axe target. I think that ought to go outside. Yeah, I think that should go outside. The punching bag. No, pick you up. That's it. And you can go. Uh, no, you need to be along the door there. I think that works fine. I wonder how many people will come up here to use the games. Oh, it's late at night. <laughs> so, no, they're all coming into to the hotel. Right. No, okay, we'll use we'll see that in use tomorrow, hopefully. I think everything is refilled. I've filled up all the uh, the food baskets, the food crates, all the bars are restocked. Uh, we didn't make any money yesterday. In fact we lost quite a bit. But then again, yeah, purchasing those that games equipment was quite expensive, so it's hardly surprising. But we've still got well to 290,000 in the bank, that's fine. Let's start today, shall we? Uh, I have completed all the quests, I can't go any more than that. Uh, so, yeah, whatever. I get an achievement for that as well, which is quite nice. Oh, oh. Oh, do you need the games? Ah, do you need the games counter to use the games kit? Ah, oh, hang, hang, oh, right, click it, and then, right. So if we make it cheaper, so I think we've got enough money in the bank, to be honest, we, we don't need to extort our customers. Okay, right, so the game counter is essential. And that's the centre for, oh, ooh, could I put another punch bag in here? I could do that, possibly. Uh, let's put in another game, another punch bag. Yep, try that. Oh, they're, they're paying for the gloves. Of course, that makes sense. Ooh, and a very decorous lady. Wants to punch the living daylights out of something. Someone? Yes. Oh, and a knight. Okay, right, so that's how the games work. Okay, you research the games, and you need to have a games counter from which they buy the res requisite equipment to use the individual game items, be that an axe target, hammer game, basketball, or archery target. Uh, these latter ones require additional research to open up. Uh, as we see here, hammer, archery, and basketball. We, we'll, we'll get the outside garden at some point. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run away from this particular tavern, close it down, and open up a brand new tavern. We lost money again. Oh, uh, we did buy another punch bag, didn't we? And I'll rejoin you on the other side of another sexy video effect, and we'll open up our very first winter tavern.
We've done it! We have researched the outside garden. Now, I'm going to have to admit, I was confused, befuddled. I was at a loss for a while because when you come down here to, to look at your, your tavern, I've used up the whole of the build space. And I thought, well, okay, so where does the garden go? Uh, okay, I don't know. Because um, there's no specific garden stuff here. No, those are all indoor floors. In the decoration, there is something called garden, but it only allows you to put plants down. It's not a sort of garden area as such itself. And what happens is you get that warning every time you try and plant a garden plant. Even if you remove the walls and just open this space up to the outside. I was completely at a loss as to where the garden was supposed to be. Did I have to delete lots of my, my tavern or, or what? I don't know. But then thankfully, the good people on the Discord server, a link to which is in the des description below, came to my help. If you go here and go into build mode, look! We've got a whole new area to play with. Yes, it's completely outside the main build area, which I hadn't expected. And unfortunately, the, the uh, research uh, option doesn't give you any hint as to that. So you kind of have to check for it. But yeah, I've been so focused on playing up here, I'd completely not spotted this here. So we've got a new space we can build in. And we can build... Uh, okay. Uh, let's build an entranceway, shall we? That looks like an entranceway. Yeah. Except you can't. You can't build high walls in the garden. Only fences and short walls. Hmm. Okay, well, in that case, we'll build fences then. So we've got these two types of fences here, the 20 and the 40 gold coin one, and these short walls here. Even these walls you can't put down because they're pillars extend into the sky. Well, we'll just fence in, shall we? Yeah, we'll, we'll do... do... that, I think. Yeah. So what I will do is I will complete building my garden area here. Well, missed a bit there. And uh, we'll come back to you after a little bit of sort of speed buildy kind of thing. Yeah, so I'll crack on and build my garden area, my outside bar, and we'll come back and we'll discuss what we've got to play with. I think we are ready now. Yeah, so what I've done is I've actually moved the games room 
from floor two, from the first floor rather, in our uh, main tavern here. Why are you still there? Oh, I need to start the day, don't I? So what we could do is turn this back into a, a little bedroom, can't we? So yeah, I'll do that quickly as well. There we go, a nice little new two-star room. Oh, what we need to do, everything is ready. Now, the one slight, there's a couple of, oh, hang on, we're being attacked. Yeah, and no one is gonna get past our guard, to be honest. Uh, if we actually go to our staff here, where is, he's Abraham. Yeah, I've, I've maxed up pretty much all his equipment. The only thing he doesn't have is this huge, great ax. But he has got quite a meaty sword. So he can deal with pretty much everyone. I've never seen more than two people attack him. Those two vagabonds. So I don't know if there I don't know if there are any more powerful thieves out there, which could attack him. Anyway, before we get into me talking about other stuff, what do we got here? Serve main courses or just soups? <laughs> uh, what should we do on the menu? Just serve main courses, shall we? Uh, none. Uh, none. That'll do nicely. Anyway, what was I about to say? I'm not quite sure what I was about to say, to be fair. Oh, yes, the staff. There is no distinction between uh, the garden area and the ground floor of your tavern building. So it's all floor zero. Uh, if we go into the staff here. So it's all floor zero. So you'll find your staff here in the garden area going to serve drinks to people inside the tavern and presumably vice versa. I haven't put a kitchen out here, so presumably they'll get food. Yeah, they're getting food from inside, from the kitchen here on uh, on the ground floor. But uh, now we've got an outside space. Oh no! I thought we were just going to do the the axe throwing. No, just just all the punch bagging stuff. Come on! Oh yes! A little bit of hammer throwing. Looks like she's quite good at this. Have another go. Go on, have another crack at it. Ooh, quite good. Quite good. Now, what I like about this animation is not just the fact they're playing the game. Oh, she hasn't finished yet. Is it three? Yeah, yes. You still haven't quite got the bullseye, have you? Have you finished? Yes, what I like about this is they actually give the equipment back to the games counter. That's a really nice little touch. It really is. That is so cool. So this is the outside area. We can't, as I think I mentioned earlier, we can't change the flooring out here at all. No, we're left with grass. So all you can do out here is decorate it with garden stuff. Like trees, like mushrooms. Put some mushrooms in the corner. Why not? Uh, different types of flowers, some reeds. Yeah, I'll have those out there. And presumably, the the lamps out here, because it needs to be lit during the daytime, as well as late night, obviously, uh, the lamps out here presumably contribute to the fire risk. Uh, floor zero, 13, that's probably about right. Yeah. 6.3 chance of fire. Well, it's still quite low, apparently, which is fine. There we are, so that's the garden. That's nice. So the, the trick to remember is that having researched the garden down here, which comes in fairly early-ish <laughs> in, in, the, in the tavern research tab, uh, you do need to look for the outside area. It's not part of the main building zone. Uh, now I've actually started researching the hammer game. So what I'll do is I'll play forward a little bit. Well, had the then I'll add the hammer game to this outside seating area and then and then we'll see that in action and then move on to the new winter map. So again, I'll I'll just fast forward through a sexy video effect and I'll see you on to the side. It's taken me a few days, but we have finally completed the research for the hammer game. Yeah, the main problem there is the, um, the amount, I think it was 5,000 for, for that as well, 5,000 research points. You know, I have been upping the number of researchers I've got, but to be honest, what we could do with is when this basement uh, research is completed, is create a new basement floor which is entirely filled with researchers, which should sort of finish off those last few... Uh, research tree items. Anyway, the hammer game, which is what we came back for. 
So, oh yeah, the, I, one nice thing, I like this. If the weather's bad, if it's raining or a thunderstorm or whatever, nobody wants to sit outside in the garden bar. I mean, our staff obviously keep on working, but the only people who come in here are those who want to play games. Well, I'm not sure throwing an axe in, uh, in this sort of weather is a terribly good idea. Is he any good at this? He looks and he's a knight. Yeah, I've seen some knights do better, to be honest. Anyway, hammer game. Let's get the darn thing in here. Games. Hammer game. There you go. Ooh. Right, and you need to go down to the ground floor. There you go. And we can put you there. I could spin you around and put you in here, couldn't I? But, no, we're not going to do that. We'll do that, leave that there. I could put another punch back in here, because these are, these are quite popular. Very popular indeed. In fact, on the uh, finance page here, it does tell you how many games, how many takeouts, everything that you've, uh, you've, you've earned through that day. So yesterday... 17 games were played. Lovely. Right, and we'll reduce the cost of the hammer game to increase the percentage. Yeah, the chance of people playing it. Let's see if anyone wants to come play hammer. No axe throwing. Ooh, yes. Go on, dear. Go on. Oh, well, no. Shame. You see, these punch bags are really popular. <laughs> Just give me that hammer back. Good, good. Oh, is he? Oh, he's coming back to hand over the gloves, I suppose. Even wizards come in here to play. Oh, you're playing the axe. What are you going to be playing? Oh, you're handing back the gloves. What's wizard here want? He's going to play the hammer game. Is he any good? Is he going to ring that bell? Yes! I don't know if you could hear it, but the bell does actually ring. Can I change my settings here? To uh, increase the sound effects. Like so. Probably all you can hear is rain, to be honest, but... No. Hit it again. Oh... Honestly, though, it did ring. It did ring. Honest, Gov. Anyway, that's it for, for the games and the garden. What we'll do now is head over to create a brand new game and have a look at the new winter map. Well, here we are back on the main menu. And as you can see, the developer of Tavern Master has a new game under development. Been developing it for a few months now from what we've heard. Uh, on the Discord forums and indeed on the Steam forums for, for Tavern Master. A solo developer, basically Luca, uh, for uh, Untitled Studios. That's the name That's the name of the, the company they're operating under. They've got a new game called Blacksmith Master, which uh, utilises many of the things that we've seen in Tavern Master and all the things he's learnt in developing this particular game. So uh, that could be quite fun. And as it says... Add it to your wish list. Why not? Anyway, we're not here to talk about Blacksmith Master. Not yet, anyway. We're here to start a new game in the winter map. So having researched it playing a normal map, again, I've got issues with that mechanic, to be honest. I wish you could open the winter map that much earlier. But it is what it is. So we'll start a winter map. Uh, yes, we do want to start a new game. I have saved. And as usual, the first thing we need to select is our difficulty level. I'm going to take it as normal. Um, I like a little bit of a challenge, but not too much. I like to be uh, tested, just moderately. So this is the winter map. Uh, and obviously it's completely empty. There's lots of alerts here telling me you ain't got nothing. So what is the winter map about? Let's have a look. We need to set it up to start with. And our build area is actually quite that bit smaller. But remember, we do have a basement as well as uh, three other floors as well we can build on top of this. So it can build, be still quite a substantial edifice. We do need to put toilets in from day one. And we also have heating now. So the bar and some of the other mechanics are going to be different here. So what I'm going to do 
I'm going to again speed build this kind of thing and just get the thing set up and then we'll talk about what we've got to see and, uh, and how the whole thing works. Our basic uh, tavern is now open. I've hired three staff. I don't think I actually need three staff, to be honest. I think I don't need that second waitress, but I've hired her now, so that's, that's that. But as you can see, we have an alert still. We have no heating. So one of the mechanics in the game is, in addition to lighting, is heating. So we can show the lights here. We can also, if we prefer, show the heating, and there ain't none. So what we need to do is set down some uh, heating some little fires now they are here there they are braziers they only cost 20 or oh, they cost a hundred oh dear um, right no we're gonna have to move these tables again aren't we I think to fit them <laughs> fit they fit it in uh, if I do that and move you along there can I fit that brazier in might as well go in there. I think. Hmm. Okay. Right. Uh, we'll see how this pans out, shall we? So let's see what happens when we start our day. And here they are. Oh, our customers are coming in already. Good, good. Now, we only serve water at the moment. Our research <laughs> tree... Oh, we need to get the kitchen first, and then we can serve fruit tea after that. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure why you would serve water in such an icy environment, but there you are. And as you can see, the research tree is somewhat um, less extensive. Well, actually, it's not that less extensive. There are quite a few here still. There are no games. There are no outdoor areas, no garden or anything. But a whole variety of things you can still do. Well, we've run on a few days. Uh, we, I don't know what day are we on now. Um, ooh, March the 8th we started, I think. And we're currently on May 15th. How many that is. Yeah, and we're doing reasonably well. We're making profits most days. And I've uh, added extra features to, to the tavern. And we've done some research. We can now put in a musician's uh, podium. We can also put the adventurer's table in. I'm not quite sure where they're going to fit in here, to be honest. We haven't got much room here. But I think we will leave this here as we've just seen, we've had a look at what we've got new in this latest update to Tavern Master. We've got the games room. So we've got all the games. We have got the outside garden area on the normal map. And we also have a winter tavern which is own requirements. It has its own set of drinks options, has braziers to keep people warm, and its very own slightly different research tree. One thing, I, the one thing I would have loved to have seen in this is, again, I suppose it's the difference between having a solo developer as opposed to a team of developers. 
Whereas, like in, in something like like Sim Airport, where you had, I mean, they they had obviously a larger team of developers uh, involved in it. You you could create your airport in a very large area and build it exactly how you wanted. There were very few constraints on what you put where and so on within that game. But the best thing about it was that once you'd completed one airport or, or done all you felt you, f you felt like doing with that airport, is you could sell up, take the profits from that airport and all the research and start again in an entirely new environment. Now, obviously, that does take a, a fair amount of work and effort to, to get all those mechanics in place and so on. Uh, so it's possibly expecting a bit much <laughs> for, for a solo developer to, to achieve all that. But this, this is nonetheless a fun game to play. It has limitations. I, I have concerns about the grinding at the research towards the sort of latter stages of the game where you just need so many people and they're just so difficult to get in without just grinding through days and days and days. Uh, one possible way of dealing with that is to make your tavern very, very tightly packed. Just have loads of tables very close together. But that's not how I want it to look because that's not the sort of place I would like to go drinking or indeed eating. But apart from that, it is great fun. But that's it, I think, from me, Ajax Post. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the latest update to Tavern Master. And if you have, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. You know, just click on the old thumbs yuppie button. Even better, if you've got anything to say about the game itself, how I should have played it better, or anything at all, then just please drop a note into the comments box below. It'd be awesome to hear from you. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Tavern Master, until the next time, bye-bye for now.